Okay, so my recommended setup for Mira is using her Vector, the Shotgun as secondary, and the Nitro Cell. Then you can use all her benefits. The Vector is absolutely amazing, ripping people apart. The Shotgun is perfect for opening holes, and the Nitro Cell is awesome. If you need to open a window, if you get pushed, just lob that out through the window and get a, some easy kills. So that's Protect my recommended setup for Mira. Okay, so the Vector is an uh, awesome gun. It holds 26 rounds and I'm gonna show you some spray patterns. So the first one is... Do you see the pattern? And then with some uh, spray control you can get them very accurate. And uh, you see the rate of fire? It takes zero to empty the 26 bullets. Right now, I'm gonna show you how I use mirror. The best tactic that I found so far is to reinforce one wall against the place where you know the enemies usually came from. Set up your window so you can peek. And then you leave the wall next to it. Use that as it is. Don't reinforce it because if you see them coming here, it's easy for you to stand back cover and then. And they will have no chance. I even if they know you're gonna peek, you will still have the advantage because you know when you're going and you're still behind cover. So it's amazing way to use the, the mirror. What you need to look out for is think where you place this. Because one shot here will destroy them. So for example, that placement, they will open this window, area. for example, this bomb spot, and there's just one shot to open it. So I wouldn't put it in this position if, if this was a match, this was just for reference, you see how to use it with one wall reinforced. Because if you have both walls reinforced, you will get some intel, so it's not useless, but uh, the disadvantage that you give up, since it's one shot here or a twitch drone to open it up, is not worth, according to me, just for the intel. That is better to use Valkyrie and put some camps up and, and get the information that way. Also remember that when you have a window like this, if you need to open it, I would recommend not, not to do it because you will leave a big hole into the site. And if you, if you do open it, remember to tell your team that you're doing it. Because I if you hit this once, you will hear the sound now, so the enemy on the other side, they will hear the sound, they will know that it's going to be open, so you will not be able to surprise them. Listen. You will hear, hear that sound and you will see the gas, so it's really no surprise. So the, the only time I would do it, if I've some really pin down, then you can go crouch, tap it up, and then just throw a C4 out. And other than that, Try to keep it intact and then instead use a non-reinforced wall to, to peek. Another great tip to increase your viewing angle. If you see for example here, you see some part of the wall that it's blocking. So if you go outside and shoot away, so you get down to reinforced wall, the angle you can see from is much wider. See? So remember to shoot out some of the wood next to the window so you can better get a better angle. Okay, to summarize, my top three tips for Mira. One, use a non-reinforced wall next to it so you can stand behind your window, move out, strafe out to the non-reinforced wall and shoot the enemy through it when you know where they are. Tip two. Remember where you place them. Number one, you, you have to see where the enemy is coming, so you place them smart, but also make sure it's not easy for the enemy to shoot out the gas cannons and open the window. Don't put it right in front of a window or something like that. It will get shot out pretty soon. Tip three, do not break the glass un unless it's very, very crucial. Because the enemy will hear the gas sound, they will know you open it, and it, you, you will not have the element of surprise as you might think.